not a walkthrough, playthrough, review, anything like that. It's just me playing the game badly, so you can see what it looks like. Hello. Some of you will know I ordered a thing quite recently on eBay. I, I was tweeting about it and saying, don't bid on this without actually saying what I bid on. Well, that thing arrived today and uh, I'm going to show it to you. It is that. It is the Bandai Electronics Missile Invader. Um, I actually, it's not what I thought it was. For whatever reason, I thought that this was the Entex Space Invader handheld, which looks very, very similar. It's got the two yellow left and right buttons, but it also has the fire button down on the side, on the front rather than on the side like this. Um, but anyway, it's, uh, I do remember these from when I was a kid in school, back in, when's this made? Does it say? No, it doesn't actually say. I figure it was about 1980. This one's a little bit grubby. Let's well, uh, how well you can see that. The light in here is appalling. My apologies for that. Um, I'll read what it says on the back. Bandai Electronics LSI Portable Game Missile Invader. Test your shooting skills with the push button firing as, your pos as you position your rangefinder and aim at UFOs. The invader can also fire back at you. Notice the use of the word invader. Can also fire back at you. You get 50 missiles to fire and score up to 245 points. You'll be working fast to avoid being bombed while firing at the quick moving UFOs and invader. Duh. Right. So, uh. I'm gonna move the camera and and break my back trying to show you some gameplay footage of this. Okay then, you can actually see this better than I can because uh, the camera is boosting the light in here. Uh, let's give it a go. This is uh, Normally you would hold it like this, but that's just not going to work here. So uh, I'll try my best. Power on here. It fires at you the moment you appear. So you've got one invader who bobs about. Whoops. Fire it. Oh, you bastard. Fire, firing at you while you try and shoot him and the uh, the UFO at the top. It is just little LEDs uh, shining through, well, holes, I guess, that are, are shaped like invaders and missiles and stuff. It's very simple. And it's actually, it's not so bad in this room. I was playing it in the other room earlier and really couldn't see what I was doing because the LEDs aren't very bright. The controls are not remotely responsive. I've actually had to open it up and uh, using some blue tack and paper just kind of added a bit more material shall we say between the plastic buttons here and the rubber things that they push on um, that are like I don't know part of the circuit board or something it just it wasn't initially working very well at all I had to really push hard and now it's it's borderline playable um, in terms of gameplay oh look I think I'm about to run out of bullets because it's flashing at me I don't know how many of the flashing means I've got left. It's probably better to just aim for the UFO and forget about the invader because the invader moves in a very unpredictable manner um, where where the, the the UFO at least you know you know which direction he's going in if not necessarily oh you bastard <laughs> if not necessarily what speed oh I thought I was dead Oh, I was dead <laughs> and it started again. There you are. You get the gist. That is Missile Invader by Bandai. It's it's limited. It's what we had back in the day before we had Game Boy. And um, I guess Game & Watch was around at this time. I had a Game & Watch before I had Galaxy Invader 1000. 
and then um, Astro Wars. Yeah, I, I thought I'd show you this after I showed you those uh, three other LED tabletop games. I got this for, uh, I think I paid about £8 for it, minus postage, which is not bad. I have since noticed that there is an Entex Space Invader handheld on there, but they want like, well, there's an immaculate one for 30 quid, and uh, a slightly less immaculate one for a fiver, though that's like, not buy it now, so I don't know what that'll end up. I thought about it, but, mm, yeah, I can wait till after Christmas. Mmm. Okay, that'll do. Thank you for watching. Yes, Your Majesty, it would be... What the bloody hell? Okay, which smart-ass rigged the subscribe button to the teleporter?